Welcome back for whoever's still here. Today's kind of gloomy. It looks like it might rain. And I'm kind of in this like manic state. Like I've been kind of manic for the past like three weeks or so. Uh, I just, I just need to keep moving. Cause when I stop moving, that's when the world creeps in. You know what I'm saying? I was Pinteresting as I do all the time now especially uh and I saw these really cute like floor pillows and anyone who knows me I like to sit on the floor people are weird about that because like even when there's like a chair open sometimes I would choose the floor I don't know why I just do kid at heart I guess I don't know I just do and my living room doesn't have a rug so I thought this would be really cute to throw on the floor whenever I want to just chill out down there it's this leaf pillow thing, floor pillow. And I was going through, I was at my parents' house and I was going through my aunt's old stuff because I had told my parents that I want to like do more sewing and upcycling. Um, so any material that we have lying around would be helpful. And so her old stuff had this sheet set. I thought this was really cute. Um, as you see, it's little vines. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try and make it into a leaf. Wish me luck. I'm kind of upset because I didn't record sound for when I cut the sheet and when I undid the elastic. But just so you know, this is the fitted sheet. I already cut the non-fitted sheet. I need two layers because it's kind of thin and so I decided to put the sheet on the inside and then the fitted sheet on the inside and the other sheet on top because they're actually made out of two different like things like this is shinier and kind of thinner actually and that one's more matte and like fuzzy so I'm gonna do that so I have to do two layers of it but there's still enough to make two as long as um, I can get enough out of this. So we'll find out from this one. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pinch the like corners and so I'm gonna fold the inner like square of the sheet. Maybe I should just cut off like these ends. It's still like a good size pillow ish you know like i just have to view sit on it okay so this is what i'm gonna do i'm going to cut <gasps> i know i'm going to cut the corners off because you know how a fitted sheet like has the stitching so that it'll be a corner and go down your uh, mattress or whatever so i'm gonna cut close to the um seam here this is just so that it'll lay flat Ugh, i didn't eat again i'm really bad at that but i also have this like thing where i decide not to eat and that eating is a like reward for finishing a project or like anything like ah oh, you can't eat until you're Laundry is put away. Like, I do that shit, which isn't healthy, and I admit that. But I get stuff done. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of those corner pieces, I had to cut the seam, and it left out a huge chunk here. So I just have to make sure that I'm cutting it so that all four layers are in it, which is kind of difficult right here, just because... It's not quite right. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> okay. There she is! Woohoo! Well, like I said, I already did the other sheet. So now what I'm gonna do is sew the layers together, I think. So, like, sew this guy to the top layer. And then I 
will sew all the layers together. See you at the, the sewing machine. <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, the pinning took a while, and I realized when I was pinning that I don't think that I need to like sew like the two layers together and sew the two layers together and then sew all four together. I decided to go with it. And so I pinned the two layers. Then I put them on top of each other and repinned how I wanted them. And then I marked it. So there's a mark all along it for me to follow. And I pinned all around and cut off the crazy excess so I wouldn't get confused. And now I think I'm ready. So sewing this was pretty difficult just because the fabrics, even though there are four layers here, is still really thin. And no matter where I put the tension on my sewing machine, it's still like bunched up and was loose in places. So the sewing on this job is a little wrecked. <laughs> um, so I ended up doing it like several times because it just wasn't right and it was coming undone. Um, and you can even see later that like it was pulling the strings that were thin. Like see right here. It was pulling the strings in the fabric and like scrunching it up weird. I don't know what was happening. I was just doing it. But you know <laughs> at the end it is what it is. And it's not coming undone so that's good. Right? Voila! Uh, my house is in shambles a little bit with all the work, but there she is, and she's so cute. She's so cute. Um, so hey everyone, I'm editing this, and I'm extremely sorry that I don't, I apparently don't know how to focus anything in this video. Um, in my defense, it was sunny outside. <laughs> And I couldn't get the monitor, like, where I was. And I should have just asked someone to tell me if it was in focus, but I didn't. So I'm kind of speeding through this last part so that it's the least amount of me. <laughs> because I'm obviously not in focus. I don't actually know what's in focus <laughs> in the scene, and I apologize for that. I'm back. Um, it's been, like two maybe three weeks <laughs> because I was waiting for fuzz to come in and I bought the wrong thing on Amazon because I wasn't paying attention so I accidentally bought duck feathers but we don't have to go into that so then I got this I sewed her up to this little hole here I decided to do this the straight down stripe stem of the leaf just because I think it'd be easier to do that and to wait all the way to the end and go through all the fuzz and like push through all the fuzz, I don't think that'll be worthwhile. <laughs> My mom had this idea I was gonna do it stupid before. I'm just gonna stuff the first part, so stuff the next part, so stuff the next part, so I just like do the veins of the leaf that way and hope it turns out. Be Oh, this one's so bad! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what I did! I'm a new woman. I'm a changed woman. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, it's gonna be so great. Just like, floor sitting. I love floor sitting. I don't know what it is about it. 
I think I just like stretching out and not bothering anyone and like being in my own space like I don't know there's something about I like sitting cross-legged I like sitting like this and so I think that's it I think that's why I like sitting on the floor and I especially like doing projects on the floor hence me literally having a picnic out here (laughs) dang I really like this (laughs) Oh, I love fixing things and doing things like this, but it does take a lot of my, my energy, my oomph. And there's not a lot of oomph happening. Like, every day I just feels so, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like we're all just waiting. And the fact that everyone is, like, just waiting freaks me out. Like, that's a weird feeling for me. It makes me extremely uncomfortable that we're all just, like... Like, oh, like, oh, you know? Like, I can't do anything. And I can survive, you know, another month or two financially, but emotionally, mentally... I don't know, guys. I don't need any more time to think, you know? Like, I already think a lot. Anyway, on that note, (laughs) um, this was extremely fun. Look at her. I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, um... Have a good week, everyone. Keep busy. Keep hanging. You know. We're all in this together. Right? See you next time.